All right, so let's see how much a full tank in Jersey will cost you. $26, yeah, 26 bucks. Welcome back to another video. This thing feels great. So, as you know, if you saw the install video of the uh, Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle 447 cam that we installed on this bike over the weekend, um, this is my first official ride with you guys and letting you guys hear it on the road and giving you back my feedback on what I think so far. So, yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words right now because I'm just like super happy to finally have this thing in the bike Really happy with the performance so far. So in this video, we're gonna be uh, going over a few things uh, We're gonna touch base on a lot of the questions that I was asked on that install video with so many Other cams out there. Why did I choose a screaming eagle cam? With so many tuners out there. Why did I still stay with a screaming eagle tuner? um amongst other things all right so first things first this bike is officially now a stage two you know what let's just uh pull over real quick give you a walk around of the bike go over everything get on the road and um get on the highway as well so you guys could uh so i can give you my uh feedback on how she does cruising on the highway at low and high speeds. We'll leave it on because uh just so we can hit that nice little rumble real quick. Beautiful. Alright, so if you are new to my channel, this is my Harley Davidson. 2021 road glide special right here like i said before it is now a stage two give you guys a nice little walk around first let you see the progress on the bike um there's a lot more to come all right so we'll start off with the number one question from the install video why did I choose to go with a Screaming Eagle Tour Cam over, let's say, an SNS, Woods, uh, Fueling, and a ton of other stuff out there? Why, why this, right? Why this? Uh, reliability is my, is my answer right off the bat. Um, I, I wanted just to keep everything Harley when it comes to those main components for now. Um, mainly because everyone is like always like so against using Harley parts on their bikes, which is like you know, well, you know, you ride a Harley. Um, I, th I think we need to give it a shot, we need to see what the performance team at Harley has to offer. Now, are you gonna get better gains with an SNS of fueling? Yes, you, you might get maybe five to ten percent more gains on that but i really wanted to try out the screaming eagle cam just to see what i can get out of it um i want to put it to the test and obviously i want to you know prove the naysayers wrong that's basically it um the bike sounds great you guys all know that the milwaukee 8 it's a it's a very tamed demon if uh, to say the least right it's very quiet 
it's not like let's say a twin cam uh it's not going to give you that classic harley davidson sound that we know from evos but once you put in a torque cam it, it, it this this engine just wakes up Every, everything just changes the bike wakes up the sound changes um and, and it just gives you what you want and what you expect anyways now that i answered that first main question let's get on the road we'll talk about everything else and then we'll get it on the highway as well oh you hear that <laughs> oh my god this bike did not sound like this before at all That's uh, that's joy, right there. So, the sound obviously has changed drastically. Um, like I was mentioning before, the M8 is extremely, extremely tamed. And as soon as you drop any type of cam in it, the bike just wakes up. It becomes a different monster. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, I had to. Um, she feels different, man. She feels different. She definitely gets up there a lot quicker now. Um, so, I'll tell you guys right now from the bat, and I'll be honest. Uh, I wasn't too happy with the performance that I had with the Stage 1. Like, you know, it, it, it sounded good. It sounds better now. Um, and it performed okay but it performs way better now uh, main reason is because I, I felt like the bike was still very laggy this is a very very heavy bike over 850 pounds um and, and, and it needs a little bit more power just to just to push it along especially on those times when you're on the highway and you want to pass a car um if you need to get out of you know any sketchy situation you want to have that extra little power out there instantly um and i just didn't like it that it, it, just, it felt laggy it felt very very laggy at times um and i find that now instead of downshifting to get more power i could just crank on that throttle at any gear and kind of just it, the, the power is there i mean the 114 the when it comes to the distribution of the power throughout every gear i felt and i feel like it's it's very well balanced it's very well distributed but it, it, it needs a little more let's get on it yeah so she gets up there really really quick now <laughs> This is fourth gear. Switch it to fifth. It's a lot more power still. Let's go to six. And it pulls right along. Now before I fought like this bike wanted to live around 80 85 after the cam this bike kind of wants to live like around 90 that's where it's very very happy at <laughs> yeah those downshifts sounds crazy now man now let me tell you this and i'll be honest i am not here trying to make this bike into a speed demon uh a race bike a performance monster that's that that that's oh, those are not my intentions with this bike um the the camp gave me exactly what i wanted was more uh more throttle right when i wanted it more power and just that low end torque so we're talking about why I went with a torque cam over a horsepower cam now as well. Um, obviously, I wanted a torque cam because, like I mentioned before, I felt the bike was a bit laggy at times. 
So I needed more power at those low and mid RPMs. A horsepower cam is gonna give you more power at that high range of RPM. And I feel like I, I really didn't need that right now. I'd rather have more torque at these uh, low speeds and low RPMs and more horsepower at the high end of it. Um, I will also mention guys that I, going back to everything's gonna circle back to this because everybody just why didn't you go with an S and S or why didn't you go with this? I'll tell you right now, I'm very very happy with the performance that I'm getting from this Screaming Eagle 447 camera here. Very very happy with it. Um, at the end of the day, guys, whether you're in a group riding together, whether you're riding by yourself. If you're in a group, you're gonna be cruising S75, 80 around there. That's it. And you could have easily done that without a cam, without, e without even a stage drawn. You, you could easily do that on this bike, right? What we're looking at is to just get little peaks here and there. A lot of people care about the numbers and you know th those numbers mean a lot to them. That extra 5% or extra 10% power to them means everything in the world. You know, whatever, cool. I really, I really don't care about that. What I really want to see is how this bike is really going to be performing, you know, a few months down the line once everything is really broken in. Um, I want to see if that, you know, sound changes a bit more. And just want to see how the bike is going to feel after that cam is really, really broken in there. Now, let's go talk about the tuning aspect of it. Um, like I said, I am using a uh, Screaming Eagle tuner. And here's the catch though. If I wanted to get more power out of this bike, more torque, I could just easily swap out the tuner for something else. And that would definitely give me that five to eight percent more that you might be looking for, or, or if I want that later down the line. That's an easy fix. Um, so that, that's a good thing about this as well. Um, bad thing, which I gotta be honest, uh, about, the, about the Screaming Eagle tuner is that you know, it, it, it doesn't give you that much space to play with. With this whole setup, we're getting around 116, 117 foot-pounds of torque. Um, that's what I was able to get out of it with the tuner. But if we were to change that tuner out, like I said, the power gains will be a lot more, probably bring it up to, uh, torque will probably go up to 122, 125 around there. Let's open her up. gets up there quick man she gets up there quick a lot of you guys also asked why didn't i change the back plate why didn't i change the oil pump these later models are pretty good uh they fixed the oil pump issue back in 2017 18 when they were having issues with it uh these later models are fine you, you really don't need to change the oil pump if if all you're gonna do is a cam like this now if if you were gonna you know go with an sns or fuel and whatever then yeah i would recommend just to switch everything out but due to the fact that i only used the uh, screaming eagle uh cam i, I kind of want to just keep everything as is it's fine um down the line if i want to change anything up either switch out the cam or do some other type of work that that's an option but like i said the, the main point of this guys is is to is to test out the screaming eagle 447 cam give you my feedback on it let you know that hey it's good enough you don't have to use a third party to get the power you're looking for now with that being said i would really really like to have the opportunity later on to switch out a few things and maybe put this cam head to head with let's say an SNS or fueling um that 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 I think will be a um a great comparison video right there just to put it to the test but I'm only going to be able to give you my honest feedback by putting in this cam in first and um and show you guys what, what it's capable of um for the average rider you're going to be more than happy with this cam for a person who who really gets on the bike really really hard 
you're you're doing a ton of crazy miles you're a real aggressive rider you're you're always ripping it then okay i i maybe you you might want to do something else um you might want to go with it, a different camera a different company uh, but for the average person, which I consider me an average rider, guys, you're going to be more than happy with this. Trust me. Believe me. This is, I mean, I've only had three days with the bike so far, um, and I'm really happy with it. Um, I can't wait to put more miles on the bike, take longer trips with it, and really put it to the test and see how, see it, see the feedback and see how it's going to respond to, you know, different type of uh, uh, riding and everything else. But, for example, you see this right here, around town cruising. That throttle response is right there. <laughs> it's, it sounds great. I'm going to be doing a follow-up video to this as well because I really want to get Jerry on this bike. And I want Pablo and Sal to ride it as well. I want to get their feedback because they've all used my bike before. Um, so getting their feedback um, and letting you guys hear their feedback on it I think would, would be great. Um, they're also trying to you know, change a few things up on their bikes and uh, it'll be good to compare if you're new to my channel you like this type of content and you want to see more stuff like this make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button that's going to notify you anytime i upload any type of new content and if you are not following me on my instagram where i post literally every day a lot of stuff on my story you should be following me on there same name as my youtube marvel kid 87 follow me on there Shoot me a DM, let's talk bikes. And um, we got a lot of more installations coming for the bike within the next week. I gotta head back home right now because I have my new Lapara seat that's being delivered right now as we speak. Um, and I gotta install the Screaming Eagle and Olin suspension in the rear, which we got from Harley. So huge shout out to Harley, man, for uh, sending that out. And a huge shout out to Harley for uh, sending this uh, tour cam out to me as well, letting me put it to the test. Um, I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's going to be it. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.